There are some crimes that stay with a community, murders that impact everyone because of who the victims were or the violent nature of the crime. When these crimes go unsolved, police call them cold cases. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson is starting to look into the files of local law enforcement agencies, hoping to heat up some of these cold cases with a tip. Among them, a teen football star whose NFL dreams were tragically cut short by a gunman still on the loose. He's real curious. Uh, he asks a lot of questions. Lucy Mills helped raise her grandson, Cedric C.J. Mills. He was my baby. Curious and caring as a child, C.J. grew into a strong young man with a passion for football. He worked really hard. C.J.'s father played on the practice squad for the Bucks, then for the Tampa Bay Storm. C.J., number eight in this video, played for Jefferson High School his coach believes he would have gone much, much further. In my opinion, he'd be playing the NFL right now as we speak. There, there's no question. But in an instant, the dreams of the 17-year-old vanished in a burst of bullets. He should not have been taken away from us. He should not have been taken away from us so senselessly like that. CJ was gunned down in front of this house in this driveway and there were witnesses. So I witnessed the shooting, sir. I was standing right there. But even though people saw it, 11 years later, the killers still have not been identified. But Tampa police and the family believe that someone in this neighborhood, someone in this area, knows who it is. And that's the hardest part, not knowing why somebody wanted to do this to him. He wasn't the type of child that you would expect for anybody to have a grudge against. The murder was April 25th. 2007, two masked men drove up in a four-door silver Chrysler Sebring with tented windows and opened fire. The description of the shooters was very vague. CJ's stepmother had just left the home to go to the store. She rushed back when she heard about the shooting. She held CJ in her arms until he was loaded onto the ambulance. And then he just looked at me and he was like, I love you, Mom. <laughs> CJ's high school football coach remembers the scene at the hospital immediately after the shooting, like it was yesterday. The entire team was there. A few minutes later, the doctor came out and pronounced him dead. It's now considered a cold case, but Tampa police have not forgotten. You don't forget cases. Detective Neil Smith is now digging into CJ's murder and told us there were more men involved than just the two masked men who jumped out of the Chrysler Sebring that day. There was a driver in the car that probably didn't get out. Detective Smith hopes that person or someone else comes forward. It could be weighing on someone's mind. Uh, maybe someone that was a part of this that didn't realize that something like this was going to go down. CJ's family is still hoping for justice, and they believe someone out there knows who killed him. CJ's grandmother hopes that person will step forward. Think about yourself and think about if it happened to you, you would want your parents or your family to know what happened to you and why. And you would want these people to at least pay for what they're doing. 11 years later, CJ's friends, his family, and police believe it is time for the person who knows about this to step up. Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8.